a former Arunachal Pradesh MP and Pasighat MLA Ninong Ering, who is vocal on the China issue, has written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the so-called standard map of China, requesting that the issue be raised during the upcoming G20 summit in New Delhi. Ering had condemned China's provocation yesterday. Listen in. All right, so former Arunachal MP and Pasikhat MLA Ninong Ering, who is vocal on the China issue, has written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the so-called standard map of China, requesting that the issue be raised during the upcoming G20 summit in New Delhi. Well, uh, Ering had condemned China's provocation yesterday. All right, so despite India's strong protest, China seems to be in no mood to relent on the map issue. In fact, China has reacted to India's strong objection to its standard map provocation. All right, to know more, we are being joined over phone line with former Arunachal Pradesh MP and uh, Pasikhat MLA, uh, Mr. Ninong Ering. So, uh, Mr. Ering, welcome to Northeast Live. So, you have written to uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the so-called standard map of China requesting that the issue be raised during the upcoming G20 summit in New Delhi, Mr. Ering. Yeah, good evening, uh, Namaskar and Jai Hind. Uh, let me be very frank, I've already written to Honorable Prime Minister and uh, this is not the first issue. In the last two issues also I had written uh, that uh, China is just trying to be very provocative. And especially just before the G20 summit, uh, you know, such issues should not come up. If it comes up, then, you know, the whole the, uh, the sentiments and the emotions of the people of Arunachal Pradesh are touched. See, now when we have even, even now the issue of stable visas are not yet... Uh, it is not uh, between, you know, it is not yet been, uh, you know, compromised. Then we still have to, you know, uh, when we, that day also, about three uh, athletes of ours had gone outside uh, for China and then they were rejected because of the stable visa. Now, this is what I've already written to Honorable Prime Minister that, uh, gee, it is not a question of uh, BJP or Congress, NDA or UK, but the question is that, the, you know, the, our aspiritu uh, hai. The recognition of the uh, Arunachal Pradesh people as Indians, that comes foremost. And now that taking a whole, you know, the whole map of Arunachal is now under hmm. Our Honorable uh, Chief Minister, Mr. Pema Sandhu, is always saying that, no, we have never had borders with China. We are bordering Tibet and one day Tibet is going to be a free country. When we make that stand, I can't understand why China is always trying to provoke us. And now, especially in the G20 summit, in fact, we must boycott them. And we must really boycott all the Chinese goods that are here. That is my take on that. Right. Well, uh, Mr. Ering, despite India's strong protests, uh, China remains defiant and has said that it's a sovereign right to publish the standard map and that uh, no one should over-interpret the issue. No, I'm telling you, let me be very frank. I told you before also, I've always said, we had the Shimla Pact, we had the Panchil Agreement, where even the Chinese were part, uh, part to that. They were party to that. So I want only to clarify that when, you know, the Chinese had agreed to us in the uh, early 50s, that time, why was it that in the similar agreement, why is it that now they are, you know, going against their own words? Like, just like Mr. Chawanla and Jawaharlal Nehru, when they had said that Hindi Chini bye-bye, and we had made that agree and suddenly they start attacking us. So here now also the Chinese provocation is completely not, we vehemently condemn it, the people of Arunachal Pradesh condemn it. And if the government is not going to say something, if the Honorable Prime Minister is not going to say something in the, <coughs> this G20 summit, the people of 
the sentiments, emotions of the people of Arunachal Pradesh will be touched and will be very great. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you so much for speaking to Northeast Life. Thank you.